What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. We do fun things here and um, today we're doing magic hair rollers. Pray for me. These are everywhere. These are everywhere on YouTube. I'm a little bit late. I just really debated if I was going to do them or not and I decided let's just do it. Let's do it. The main reason why I really wanted to do it is because I didn't see a lot of people with my particular hair texture doing a review on these uh, magic hair rollers. I have type 4 hair obviously but my hair is very, very thick. I have a lot of it. The strands are thick and so I want to see how this is going to hold up on my hair. So my hair is freshly washed, deep conditioned, leave-in is in, all of that. I just, I took a shower and I just let the steam kind of like loosen it up and everything. So what I'm going to be using today is one of my favorites, Mayel Twisting Souffle. This stuff is really, really good because it's sticky and tacky and so it's kind of working in the place of a gel and it's really going to give the curls like a good form. The next thing that I'm using is this mousse by ORS. People just be using mousse, so I'm just going to use it too. I don't really, I don't really know. And of course I'm going to be using my Denman brush, which, hello hair strands. I'm going to be using my Denman brush just to detangle and get a little bit of a curl. So we have 30 hair rollers here. Don't know if that's too much, too little. We're going by faith, you know, through Christ. I'm not sure if this is going to be too much. I did not practice putting these in beforehand. So in here we have like big ones and small ones. These are the big ones and these are the tiny ones. So I'm going to use the bigger ones in the back, smaller ones in the front. I guess you just like open them roll your hair on it and then close it you know so yeah like i don't know man just wish me luck wish me luck thumbs up for luck just give me a thumbs up just for sheer luck okay <laughs> let me get my spray bottle and then yeah i don't know if i should go in with the mousse first or the twisting souffle first guys i really don't know what i'm doing okay i'll, I'll try both ways so i'm gonna go with the mousse first I don't even know if this is like too much mousse. I don't know. So the good thing about doing it when your hair is like wet is that it really, really dries into the form of the curl. So it has a really good chance of success that way. But if it doesn't dry, then it's not going to work. So I guess I'm going to put it this way. Wrap. Wrap. No, already not working. Okay. Take two. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, get him. Uh-oh. Killing him. Okay, and then I got one. Okay, but one thing that I forgot to do, yeah, that's just gonna slide out. One thing that I forgot to do is twist at the root. That's a thing. That's a thing. So I'm gonna twist it at the root like that. Uh -huh. Perfect. Grab this. Oh, this is this is harder than it looks because I just feel like. So I think I should put it at the root like that and then just twist the hair around instead of trying to roll it up like I'm fancy. That. Pop it closed. Okay. We got one. This looks so sketchy, so sketchy. 30 sounded like a lot when I was ordering them, but I just feel like, I don't know. And 60 was like too much, so we're just gonna have to work with the 30. If you're using these, just pre-pluck them before because it's hard to do it with one hand. I'm gonna keep doing this. You can see this one's already like loosening up. I saw um, Janae Mason, who has a YouTube channel called Nay Too Curly. I saw her actually like two strand twist at the root. So I might try that. I'm not sure which one's gonna give me like a tighter hold. So another reason why I wanted to do this is because some YouTubers who had longer hair were saying that they think it would would have worked better if their hair was shorter. So I really feel like these magic rollers are better for people who have short, like not too short to the point where it can't go around the roller, but if you have shorter hair, it will probably dry a lot faster because it's not too much hair layered on itself. So if you have short hair, like me, then you could go for it. Well, wait to see how this turns out and then, then you can go for it. So I found the strategy. Spritz the water, twisting souffle, mousse, 
two strand twist at the root, roll it up, boom, Bob's your uncle. I actually have an uncle named Bobby. Hi, Uncle Bobby. I'm gonna finish up and yeah, we'll see how this goes. I can already tell. I can already tell that what I have is not gonna be enough. I just have too much stinking hair. Okay guys, so I have three magic rollers left and I have this much hair. So this is the plan. I'm going to do, should I do yeah, I'm gonna do twists to fill in the gaps because you know there's a lot of gaps at this point. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do some twists because the because doing doing a braid out is gonna give me a totally different curl pattern than what these rollers are gonna give me. Okay. I didn't really develop like where I want everything to fall. I guess this way. curl right in the middle of my forehead first impressions it wasn't that bad once I got the hang of it it was pretty easy to get in you know this one's still hanging on for dear life but you know just hang in there yeah okay let me retwist this while I talk I don't regret not buying another pack because the more that I think about it if I bought another pack it really would have been too many I think I just have too many left over so this way seems okay for me for now the mousse was definitely like a game changer in terms of the way it made my hair feel it really like melted my hair and gave it that wetness without like a soaking wetness soaking wetness if you do try this definitely grab mousse and i think the twisting souffle definitely gave it that stickiness to to be able to hold the curl together so we won't actually know until it's dry time is now 2:43, so let's see how long i can keep this in for it shouldn't take that long to dry but who knows it's all dry or maybe in about an hour i think i might sit under my dry for a little bit speed up the process we'll take it out we'll see what we got wish me luck what up guys okay it is the next day i thought that i was being really smart by you know not doing the style on freshly washed hair because then it won't be soaked you know what i'm saying i thought i had it in the bag you know um i was wrong i was i was totally wrong a couple hours after i put these in i took them out to check them and they were so wet it was almost like i might as well have just washed my hair because so I had to end up going outside with the headscarf on yesterday, kept them in overnight. I'm trying to give this the best chance to be successful. So it's been well over 36 hours now. I think we're good. So I'm going to take this off. And um, as I said, I had to go outside yesterday. So as you know, I twisted some in the front because I ran out of rollers. So um, I just put my headscarf on and then I had these out as kind of like a bang. So that's why it looks kind of funny right now. Time for the moment of truth. Let's take these out and see what happens. Okay, well, this one just slid out. It was already on its last leg anyway. Okay. Okay. Yep. And it was twisted at the root, so I'm just taking that out and, um, Do you see this? Do you see it? There's nothing to see because nothing happened. Nothing happened. A quick shout out to everybody on Instagram who believed in me. The 80% of you who thought this was gonna work out. Oh! We got one. We got one. 
We got one curl that dried and curled. One. Wow, that's a nice curl too. The last one. Okay, so um, this is how it looks. I'll just explain what I did after I put the curlers in. So I put them in, I did go under the dryer for maybe 20 minutes or so. After that I went outside and it was hotter than the devil's breath yesterday and so I thought the sun would maybe help dry my hair a little bit. So I was outside for a little bit and then after that I realized my hair was nowhere close to being dry and um, maybe the humidity actually worked against me. So I had to just wear a headscarf um, like while I went out and I had my headscarf on for most of the day and then last night of course I put on my bonnet and that's what I came on camera with today. So that's what I did. I don't think I put too much water, I don't think I put too much mousse. My hair just feels, it almost feels like I did the greenhouse effect on my hair. Okay so I went off camera for a little bit and just tried, I just tried to I just, I tried, I tried. Um, this is the final, like, is this the final look though? Probably not, I'm not going anywhere looking like this. But you know, I just put a little headscarf on it. I think where I went wrong was I needed more rollers. Um, I bought one pack of three. These little holes in here, those holes kind of make you feel like there's some ventilation taking place when you put your hair in here and there's holes you you think that there's like an airflow it's not, no not happening so here's my question of the day where do you think i went wrong um i think maybe it could have been not enough hair rollers i don't know where do you think i went wrong comment down below let me know your answer to the question of the day would i recommend these yes i would the curls can be cute maybe if your hair is a little bit thinner or you don't have as much hair or you have a lot of time on your hands or you have 60 rollers um, it could work the curls that it does produce they do have potential they do have the potential to be nice so I wouldn't count these out you know if you have some extra money or if you're going to an event or something and you have three days to spare for drying time or if you have your own hair dryer then definitely give it a try I'm not gonna purchase another pack of these just to do this experiment again because I just feel like I'm not gonna put 60 of them in my hair and then not even guarantee that it's gonna be dry the next day because my hair is still wet so anyways guys that is the video that's my take on the magic rollers comment down below let me know where you think I went wrong what I could have done better and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>